going on guys it's your boy peekum funfan 97 and i'll be going over how to create a beat marker inside final cut pro 10 and it's really easy to do all you have to do is make sure you have your song and you want to make sure you have some footage to work with in this case i have some pictures these are just some random pictures that i got online they're just stock pictures so bear with me uh this could be uh, video or pictures or anything just make sure you have some footage um, or pictures um, and a song so uh, within Final Cut you want to go ahead and first go into your generators panel right here and go over to all and go to custom and it should just be uh, black just plain drag that into the timeline just click OK and get your song and drag it beneath it so right there at the beginning so click and drag your custom uh, right here, the blank, old, black, um, just drag it over. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but just drag it over to the end so it fits the song. Um, so once you've done that, when you press play, uh, I, this is called 10 Feet Tall Culture Code Remix, if you ever heard of it, good for you. Uh, but this is just a... Uh, a song that I chose because it has a lot of beats in it and that's what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that your song has beats something to go along with so if I press play you see that one is perfect so I'm gonna go and zoom in like that and right where it's just about to begin I'm gonna click on the custom uh, plain block Oh my gosh, I don't know what it's called, but just make sure you just click on that. I really, I'm like, my brain is blank right now, so sorry for that. And every time you hear a beat, you press Command B. Every single time you hear a beat, press Command B on your keyboard. So press play. Oops. That was off. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay. Okay, so that's good enough. So you see, there is a lot of uh, a lot of um, a lot of these little clips here. And what I want to do is I want to make sure I zoom in here pretty close, and you can see that every beat goes along with every time I hit it. So. You can see every beat goes along with every single one of these. You see, I missed one right here. So that's fair enough. So once I have done that, uh, you want to get your footage or whatever you're going to be working with. So I'm going to click and drag this and drag it over your clip. Make sure it's selected. Let go. And you will have a few options here. You will see replace, replace from start, replace from end, replace and add to addition. If you click replace, this will just replace it with this with whatever you selected to its to its own uh, clip. You don't want to do that, or else it's gonna mess it up. It's not gonna be in sync with the beat. So drag it over, drag it, and you'll click replace from start. So when you do this, it's gonna uh, it's gonna start it from the very beginning. Okay. So if I were to do this for each one of the, you will have to do this manually. It's not automatic. So that's kind of the downside. But, I mean, you get the idea of how it's going to work, okay? So this could be anything, okay? This could be video, uh, but this is just how to do a beat marker, how to use the tools, and how to actually do it, all right? So I'm just dragging in some clips here just to show you how it would look. Um, so I'll just select this. I don't really care how long it is because it's just gonna re replace it from the start. So I think that's pretty good. So if I were to play it, See, that is pretty cool. So you can have a lot of fun with this. Um, so that's the cool thing of using beat markers in Final Cut Pro 10. I believe this works the same way in iMovie, um, but I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not really sure. So I don't know. These are some weird pictures. If you don't, uh, you know, sorry for that, but I had to do something. So sorry for these weird, awkward pictures that I'm putting in. Um, 
I'm just giving you some demonstration for demonstration purposes only. So I'll go ahead and play it. I don't know why it's lagging so bad. I'm gonna come back once it's uh, once it stops to lag. All right, I am back. It should uh, not be laggy anymore. So there you go. Uh, that's how you do uh, beat markers. How to use beat markers. Um, so again, you can just keep going for each beat until whatever desired time you want to end with. And there is your result. So if this helped you in any way, please, please leave a like in the ratings below. Comment, because I do love seeing your comments. I try to reply to most of them. If I have an answer, if I don't, you know why. But uh, so, yeah, uh, if you guys want any tutorials or anything, please leave a comment below and I'll get to you ASAP. So uh, I'll see you guys on my next video. Until then, peace.